so strong. It takes a tough five-year-old to giggle through a blood draw. This is the COVID vaccine, one, two, three. You ready? And not even flinch when he gets the shot containing either the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine or a placebo. Oh, you know what that is? Khalil Chari Halperin is among the 4,500 children participating in Pfizer's late-stage clinical trials for kids under 12, taking place across the U.S. and Europe. At one test site in Louisiana, doctors at Oshner Health Medical Center are asking parents to prepare kids for the vaccination. Having your child vaccinated protects them from getting COVID. And while it's unlikely that they would get a serious illness um, or serious uh, impact, it is possible. And, you know, we're here to tell you that there are children in our children's hospital to this day being cared for because of COVID. The polls show one in four American parents say they will definitely not have their young child vaccinated against COVID, no matter the trial's results. It doesn't make any sense to take a vaccine that I can't be sure of one way or another um, for something that if I get it, I'm most likely going to survive and they even more so are more likely to survive. Leah Ritchie says her 11-year-old son will not get the vaccine. She thinks the development was rushed. The Kaiser Family Foundation reports another quarter of American parents say they will have their young child vaccinated as soon as the FDA authorizes emergency use. Jennifer Gibbons' daughter is eight. She's a bit high risk, um, has a couple of medical conditions that make her more so, and I would love for her to be vaccinated today. Pfizer's vaccine already has emergency authorization from the FDA for children 12 years and up. The company says its trials for that age group showed 100% efficacy against COVID with minimal side effects. Results for younger children are expected by September. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington.